Testing for the presence of unit roots is a fundamental component of modern time series analysis, and eViews has provided a number of unit root testing tools since its inception. Much of the data used in macroeconomic analysis exhibits seasonal patterns. Non-stationarity can be an important part of these cyclical components, and traditional unit root tests can produce inaccurate inferences in such cases. Consequently, eViews 11 introduces a battery of unit root tests aimed at testing in the presence of seasonality. These tests include the most famous Hilberg, Engel, Granger and U test, or Hedgy, as well as a likelihood ratio variant, the Canova and Hansen test, and variance ratio tests. As a demonstration, we'll use some monthly non-seasonally adjusted housing starts data we retrieved from the Federal Reserve St. Louis database, FRED. A quick look at the data shows the clear seasonal patterns, but no overall trend. To perform a seasonal unit root test, we click on View, Unit Root Tests, Seasonal Unit Root Test, which brings up the Seasonal Unit Root dialog. The top part of the dialog lets us choose the type of test we'd like to perform. We'll begin with the popular Hedgy test. Beneath the test type, we can select from some options for the test. Perhaps the most important is the periodicity of the seasonality. In other words, the number of cycles in each period of the seasonality. Since we have monthly data, eViews has defaulted to a periodicity of 12. We can also choose whether to include non-seasonal deterministics, such as an intercept and trend in the test. Since our data do not exhibit a trend, we'll select the intercept only. We can also choose to include seasonal dummy variables as seasonal deterministics, but for our example we will not do so. The right side of the dialog lets you set the number of lags to use in the auxiliary regression used to calculate the test. We'll just use the default setting of automatic selection with the Yakiki information criterion. Clicking OK produces the results. The output shows the test statistics for all of the frequencies included in the test based upon the specified periodicity. Since we selected a periodicity of 12, we have tests for frequency 0, frequency 2 pi over 12, frequency 4 pi over 12, and so on all the way up to frequency pi. We also have two joint statistics, one for all seasonal frequency, i.e. all the frequencies other than zero, and one for all frequencies including zero. Along with the test statistics, eViews also reports the associated critical values. These values come from non-standard distributions and so are drawn from simulation. As such, critical values are not available for every possible sample size. And in such cases, eViews will report the two critical values for the available sample sizes below and above our sample size, as well as a linearly interpolated critical value. For each of the statistics, the null hypothesis is that there is a unit root at the reported frequency. In our case, the statistics for most of the frequencies are larger in absolute value than the 5% critical value, so we are able to reject the null hypothesis of a unit root at these frequencies. To perform a second type of test, we click on View, Unit Root Tests, Seasonal Unit Root Tests again, and this time we change the test type to Canova Hansen. The options change slightly. Notably, we now select which cycles of the season to test for unit roots. Note that the null hypothesis of the Canova Hansen test is the inverse of the Hedgy test. Here, the null is of no unit root process at the specified frequencies. We'll select to restrict our test to seasons 1, 3 and 6. We again use a periodicity of 12 and include a constant as the non-seasonal deterministic. The test reports the joint statistics for the frequencies we have selected first. In our case, the test statistic is larger than the reported 5% critical value, so we reject the null of no unit root processes at those frequencies.